Hello guys, and welcome back to another video. Today, I will be telling you a way you can possibly predict any random number that generates. The reason why I said possibly is because most random number generators are coded so that it is very difficult to predict. The algorithm that almost all random number generators use, pseudorandom, is based on a single number, or seed, so everything that it generates can be predicted from one number. This seed usually isn't just the current time in milliseconds or something else that is highly predictable. It usually goes through a complex process and is highly protected by the computer at the same time. But luckily for us, many operating softwares actually told the public how they get their seeds. Today, I will be explaining how Windows does this, because its explanation is pretty detailed. I have no idea how many of the facts are intentional lies, but because I still need content for this video, I will just go with them. I also will not go into too much detail, because if I did, then this video would be days long. So first of all, Windows uses a system called Centered RGB, an encrypted version of pseudorandom, to generate its first numbers, which have 256 bytes. The numbers it generates are then put into a single 128-byte number, or the buffer, which is refilled from the center DRGB whenever it is empty. If the suede or random number is more than 128 bytes, then it will not go through this process. The suede or random numbers that are taken from the buffer will then have their location inside the buffer wiped. This is to make it harder to relate the final random number to the seed. Additionally, with the buffer being refilled so often, the bytes are constantly getting overwritten, making it even harder to backtrack. Another thing that the buffer does is reorder the numbers generated by the DRGB, to make it easier for random number requests to be processed and harder to decode them. For every processor core that you have, there will be two different random number generators, because each core has two logical processors. But all of these share data from a single PRNG, which has a single seed. But this seed changes on a schedule in order to make it even harder to backtrack. After booting, the seed will change at one second, then the next change will be triple the time of the previous. So it will change every one second, then three seconds, then 9, 27, 81, and so on. The multiplier can also vary by 33% each time but it will stop multiplying once it reaches 3600 seconds, or one hour. The reason why the time between changes is so short at the beginning is because when booting, Windows needs to keep its numbers as random as possible to collect entropy. It also keeps track of the seed version, or how many times it changed the seed. Once the time between seed changes reaches its maximum, the PRNG will start generating numbers into different pools, which can have their randomness spread to the other pools. So to sum it up, Windows makes the numbers generated as mixed up and altered as possible in order to make it very hard to find its seeds. So if you wanted to predict random number, then the only way would be to manually scan your CPU's electrons with a microscope. If you want to get anywhere with this, then don't rely on this video, because I am just a dog with rabies and not a professional. But hopefully this video was interesting, and see you next time. Bye.